This is Nick Baisley from Film Snobbery. I am here at the Palm Springs Short Film Festival, and we're actually at the Renaissance Hotel, and this is where the, the, the market is and all this other stuff. And who am I with right now? My name is Dave Scala, and I'm here with my film Grotto. Grotto. And, and Dave, and who are you? I'm Ben Getz, and I'm one of the actors in Grotto. Fantastic. All right. Good. Now, we've got a lot to cover here because we have actors, we have directors, we have everything. Um, first of all, let's ask, uh, how is your festival experience so far? Are you enjoying yourself here? Yeah, a lot. Um, I've always heard of the Short Fest, and it's such an honor to be here. Like, we're having a great time. We're really good filmmakers, the market's cool. Um, just enjoying it. How about yourself? You enjoying it? Yeah, it's been great. The hotel's been great. Uh, everyone who works here is awesome. And, yeah, it's just been... Now, you guys all, you know, when you guys... First of all, tell us a little bit about Grotto. What's Grotto about? Um, it's a seven-minute short film. And it's about a 20-year-old who returns to his rural hometown from his big city college to reunite with his friends at a midnight pool party. Well... And... And what? Hey, city boy. That's cool. To you. All right, that, that sounds pretty much like my. No, I have no. I have no experience. I was very boring in high school. I have no experiences that relate to this at all. At least none on record. Um, no, <laughs> but uh, so what are what are some of the? I don't want to ask the cliche question of what are some of the challenges of your character in, in getting into character because you're a young guy. It sounds like you might have had an experience or two like this, and you know, I mean, uh, yeah, it was it was difficult. Like, oh, I get to go act and and swim in a pool. Great, you know. I mean, what what's your what was your thing? It's seven minutes, so I mean, how did you how did you you know get that character? And, and you only have so much time to to kind of you know express that character. How did you do it? Uh, well, yeah, it was a little tough in that uh, <laughs> I didn't really have an experience like that either. <laughs> Not on record. But uh, so, yeah, it was just a lot of looking in the script and trying to figure out um, just how this kid relates to, to the other characters. And, uh, and yeah, and then had to go out and have an experience of, like that, uh, of that myself. And uh, <laughs> no, um, yeah, it was, it was a great script, so it was easy to get into. And, um, yeah, I mean, I guess we all do have an experience that's kind of like it, even though it's not completely like it. But, yeah, it was, it was okay. Do you ever, do you ever uh, feel um, that it's difficult to tell a, a story as a short? You know, you always feel like, do you ever feel like you just, I have more to say, but I'm limited by this, this form, this format of short? Yeah, actually, short filmmaking has such a range to it because you can have a short that's seven minutes or a short that's 20 minutes. And so um, I went to NYU Film School, and my thesis film was a 20-minute short. So after doing that, I really wanted to cut back and do something simple, almost like a slice of life, which is what this film really ended up being, this sort of small moment, um, but you can really kind of pack a punch and still tell a story. So it was challenging to kind of whittle it down to keep it short, um, but I like the challenge. What kind of themes in your films that you create do you try to bring out? You know, whether it's a pieces of yourself or pieces of, um, you know, your personal life, family life, whatever. Are there any, th or even just themes, um, thematically, universally, in terms of, you know, what people relate to or people are going on. You know, is a, some people write a lot, you know, write and direct a lot about uh, technology. Some people are, you know, about um, war. Some people are about, you know, uh, other, you know, th you know. Th themes, you know, so what, what is important to you in your writing and directing that like you try to do? Um, one thing, especially in this film, that I found is the theme of identity. Um, I think it's some, like identity is something that we all kind of experience throughout our lives, trying to discover more about ourselves. And so this film is coming of age. Um, but even across my other films, it's really always about the main character trying to find out, find their voice. Um, the, my thesis film was a musical, so it was literally she was finding her voice. Um, and then here he's trying to find his own identity and where he fits in between this like, big city world and this rural um, town. And um, yeah, I guess just... Things like that. And it's funny because I mean I would think that as an actor, uh, finding identity is literally something you do for a living, 
you know, I mean, it's, it's you're finding your identity uh, within your character and then within yourself, within the industry. And then the same thing with you, you're trying to find identity as a filmmaker, find that voice and stuff. So do you guys, did you both really relate to the material? I mean, you directed and wrote it, obviously, so that's, you definitely related to it. But I mean, do you find yourself um, paralleling that and do you relate to that as well? Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm in school in New York too, and uh, and I come from a really small town, so it's something that when you come home, it's just a very, uh, yeah, you find yourself in a different situation, and your friends are just act a lot different from the friends in the city, and and the, you know everything's closed at night, and you gotta make your own. But it's they, they know your skeletons are buried too. They they right. know. Of course, of course. I see. I don't I don't want to come home and tell them about it, but uh, <laughs> but in this film you had to. But yeah, I mean it's you know it's a theme that's. It's just very universal, yeah. The biggest difference between my friends back home and my, my friends here is that my friends back home think I'm British. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so I'm just like, I bring someone home, I'm like, just don't be shocked if I talk like a, a North Londoner or something like that, you know. It's like, hello, mom. You know, how are you today? Um, uh, but, you know, as a filmmaker, do you find um, that you, are te you tend to be uh, defined by the type of movies you make? Do you feel free to explore those, that, those identity kind of issues, um, you know, and create things that are not just one particular thing? Do you want to be known for one particular thing? Um, well, I find it was interesting because my two other films um, that I have directed so far, the first one was about a little boy, um, and the second one was about a girl, but they were both, like, they weren't, like, so to speak, me as the main character, and I feel that I've seen so many shorts where you, you see the film and then you see the director, and it's almost like that is their story in a way, like, they are that main character, and I didn't really have an experience like this, but I think I put more of my own self into this character being the same age as the character and of the same gender, just like more so than my other films. And so I think there's been a better response to that at festivals because people will see the film and then say, like, how does this relate to you versus how did you come up with that? <laughs> you know. Speaking of festivals, uh, how do you guys, um, you, I, I'm assuming, especially with a film market here, you, you have a completely different job here than you do. Um, I mean, you're here to support the film, probably help in the, the sales aspect of the film, but your job pretty much is to get audiences to see it and, and get it possibly sold or at least looked at or watched, reviewed possibly, interviewed, you know, the press aspect. But you as an actor, it's a little bit different of a situation. I mean, you know, so how would you guys both think that your jobs differ um, in, in uh, when you come to a festival? Like, what's the mission, you know? And, and do you guys collaborate at all on what that mission is? <laughs> Um, not, well, we didn't really collaborate on our mission, but I know that we have, you know, our goal is to really get people to see the film. And so since we screen on Sunday, which is the last day of the festival, we really have this huge sort of opportunity to just promote and promote and promote, um, and then kind of network with the filmmakers of the films we've seen and that we've liked, um, and to start a conversation. So at least that's what I've been trying to do. Oh. How about yourself? Right. Uh, I've just been trying to, you know get girls through Dave. Dave's like my wingman. So, uh, no. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I'll do the jokes here. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so, um, no, um, yeah, I mean, this industry is so collaborative and it's, it's just great seeing the filmmakers and really uh, talking to them about their films and yeah, and then you obviously try to market yours and uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's just a lot of just meeting people and... Uh, when you're here, are you cheating on him with other directors? Uh, uh, <laughs> right, no, you have to look out for yourself. You are the father. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I've been trying to get my name out there too a little bit, but yeah, it's all about this film right now, and, uh, and just, yeah, happy to talk about it with anyone. I think it's just being open-minded to whoever sees it. They might, they might do something with it. They might tell someone about it, so... Where are you guys headed to after Palm Springs? Do you have plans already? or? Yeah, um, the film is going to be in the Philly Q-Fest in July, so I'll be attending that. I think you too. Yeah, yeah so we'll both be there. Um, it's East Coast, easy to get to, right? Yeah, pretty much. And then there's one in Rhode Island, the Rhode Island International Film Festival, and then the North Carolina Film Festival too. There's one. Um, so as many East Coast ones as possible. I was going to say, you got like a whole East Coast tour plan there, you know? You should grab the, you should get a bus and just you know, road trip it down there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I, I'm done with the East Coast for now. I'm from Massachusetts, so I'm, I'm done with the East Coast for now. We'll leave that be. I went home for the holidays. I had that friend experience of just like all my friends are there and just like, you guys just don't change ever, do you? I'm like, I'm like the newest thing you guys have is a kid or video game. And it's just like, not for nothing, guys. I think I'm going to go back and get drunk back in L.A. Uh, I'm just kidding, folks. I love you guys.
Um, but uh, uh, that's great, though. I mean, you guys, it seems like it's already being uh, very well received. Um, you know, obviously, you're, you're here. There's a very, you know, it's a, it's a prestigious festival for short films, and, and they, they, they like you. They really like you. So, um, it, no, that's great. And you, you guys are, it sounds like you're taking advantage of the, the marketing opportunity. Like you said, uh, last day of screening, it's, it's a good, you know, you can really build up the suspense in the lead up, so that's fantastic. Um, are you going to be uh, acting in anything else anytime soon as well? Do you have anything else planned up, or are you just helping support this young man right now? Support for right now. I've got a PSA that just came out from Toyota, but uh, other than that, just really supporting this film. <laughs> Save for Toyota, that's fantastic. The closest I get to that is a PS3 in my bedroom, and that's it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, no, that's great, guys. I want to thank you for taking time to talk to us. I really appreciate it, and uh, hopefully you guys go check out Grotto. Uh, even if you don't have it here, uh, you know, you're not here at the festival, you can go check it out over in uh, uh, at some point when it gets out there, or check it out at some of the film festivals on the East Coast, because you can't be on the West Coast. So, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Fantastic, guys. Thank you. So much. Thank you.